and welcome back folks welcome back to let's play fallout where we last left off we just um got the basic story here we are the vault dweller it has no name in this game actually even though our character has um mr man yeah and we have been given the task to find the water purification chip and we shall loot this the body of this person that probably is the guy that they sent before that they sent out before us yeah they did not give us much of an equipment here so some brass knuckles and a knife so this actually counts as unarmed whereas this here uh, does not this counts as a melee weapon so we'll shall be concentrating on unarmed combat let us fight our first enemies and as i already foreshadowed in the last video they are of course going to be rats like in every other game that i'm playing first enemy is always a rat i missed there and then i killed it rat um, the funny thing about this game is this has a um, system where you can target you can target specific body parts of your enemies so for instance I could try to hit um, its body or its groin let us try to hit the mouse into the groin and we failed. That is because it's quite hard to hit a mouse. And as you can see there, we are quite we are quite capable of killing these rats. Um, that is because I configured configured our character specifically so he has a good un un unarmed strength. This will be important since we will be trying um, to play to play uh, a martial arts sniper character, which sort of contradicts itself. But we'll we'll see how um, how viable this option is. Okay, let us. Get rid of all these rats. You get some experience for killing all these rats here. So this is basically um, like a tutorial area. It's not really a tutorial since they don't really explain anything to you. But you get used to the combat system. And if you've made um, a custom character like I did, you can also check whether the choices you have made um, are horrible or not so if you can't defeat these rats if you die in the first area then probably your settings the choices were not that good and we hit uh, didn't hit despite 78 percent chance of hitting now we hit the rat um and it's also very important that i chose character with such a high agility you have nine, nine points in agility because um, agility as you may remember determines the action points so the more action points you have uh, the more often you can attack in a given turn I attacked there two times um, yeah so I can kill effectively kill this rat without uh, taking any damage however um, as we have already seen you can, sometimes you can you actually take damage in between uh, during your turn 
This is like a reaction fire in, say, a game like XCOM. That would be, I guess, similar. And we kind of have to watch our health. Since we are playing as a character that has low endurance and endurance basically equates to health here in this game. Or determines, well, how much you just, how much of a beating you can take. Having low endurance as a martial arts or as a hand-to-hand -hand combat person certainly is not uh, that great. However, eventually we'll get power armor, which is awesome, and which hopefully um, yeah, neutralize that disadvantage that we have. And we don't have enough action points, so we'll end our turn. And the red missed, fortunately. And one hit and it's... not one hit, one hit and it is... it is dead. Yeah, I've been wanting to play an RPG. But I was not quite, um, I initially intended to play more like a Dungeons and Dragons RPG. But then I thought I don't really have much experience. So I went to an online forum and then asked for advice. And in the end it just uh, crystallized, crystallized, blah, that's a hard word, crystallized. It crystallized crystallized itself out that the most sensible thing would be to play a game that I've already played, which is Fallout. I've completed this game once. Um, however, that was actually some time ago, maybe a year ago. So I guess I've forgotten enough about this game to still be able to enjoy it and be surprised sometimes. One thing that I regretted during my first playthrough play was that I, my character was not very good at using plasma weapons. And that's the reason why I, here I want to go for a character that is basically just doing hand-to-hand -hand combat and plasma weapons and nothing else. Okay, we have... So this is our map. Uh, the world in Fallout is not that big actually. The world in Fallout 2 is much bigger. Um, and most of this map is still black. That is because we haven't been to these areas. So we don't know what to expect. We've, we only know this location. Um, and one thing that is very specific to this game is during your travels sometimes you have bad encounters. Like this one. And some Brahmi. Or Brahma. They don't really talk much. Yeah, I could attack them. Uh, so I guess because I have very high levels of luck, I got this encounter. So we can actually kill these creatures, but. To be fair, I don't really feel like it, even though it probably would give experience. I don't feel like attacking peaceful creatures like these. Uh, we could try to lockpick them or give first aid. But I think uh, it wouldn't make much sense. Okay, all of these just checking whether maybe one of these Brahmin Mu, I say, responds differently. Because I got. Because uh, I wonder whether this is one of these special encounters. Mu, I say. Hmm. So maybe not. Let us leave then. 
don't want to murder an innocent Brahmin. Let us continue our travel to World 13. I can't actually read it right now because my the picture on my screen is um, is not completely shown on my screen for some reason. And we shall make and we have a bad encounter. And we shall see whether we're going for a martial arts character. Oh, was a good idea or not? Oh, let's go for the eyes. That was not a good idea. Okay. I hope he's not armed. If he's armed, then I'm screwed. I think I'm screwed anyway. Um, okay, let us uh, try to leave. Okay, that's the advantage you have as a character with who has a high uh, much action points. You can just walk away from a combat situation. However, however um, Yeah, I don't stand any chance against these creatures. Hmm. Or maybe I can whittle down there. Whittle them down one by one. So they... The good thing is they are too slow to be able to attack me. When they've moved next to me they will have exhausted all their action points, and so they can't attack me. So basically, actually, basically, actually, so basically, um, yeah, they can't, they can't really hurt me then. So let us abuse that fact. Okay. Uh, that strategy. Works only if... Yeah, and we are dead. Not even the carrion eaters are interested in your radiated corpse. Our first death. Hooray. And the sun is sort of glitched out there. So let us reload. Um. Oh. And we start... At this point. Yeah, that was not intended, actually. Oops. Okay, now we have to fight all these rats again. Let us see how we're doing without the brass knuckles. Okay, not so bad, actually. Um, oh, we can't go into the inventory because we don't have enough action points. Yeah, you definitely want to have all the items equipped that you want to potentially use during a combat situation because going into the inventory screen actually uh, deduces points, deduces action points, so costs action points. Yeah, and I was hit there. Okay, and when we come back, folks, uh, we will continue doing the tutorial area again. And then, hopefully, we will reach Vault 13 in the next episode. So, until next time, folks, until then.